Hello, greetings. I'd like to uh, talk about the for-profit college uh, debate. Are for-profit colleges all bad? Well, yes and no. There are some who charge outrageous tuition and fees. And there is the trust factor of employers. I've noticed, however, that the liberals seem to be totally against somebody making a profit off of educating and training people. But many of the trade schools, like in my local area and many others, might be considered for profit. But many of them do a good job of placing their students in jobs and do a good job on training. Okay. But nonprofit schools are not without fault. They charge outrageous tuition and fees. Much of this debate is just over not wanting to have competition in the higher education market. Rather than trying to change and amend their ways to do what the for profit colleges are doing right to, track, to attract students, uh, they are rather trying to hold on to their old ways of doing things. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, I lost my train of thought there. Okay, now what should you do first? Well, the first thing I would do uh, if you haven't gone to college and got a training already is go to a community college to start out with find a community college that offers skilled trades such as welding mechanical tech auto tech carpentry plumbing degrees and certificates get those because nobody questions the validity of a community college certificate dip uh, diploma or degree not even the liberals who hate the idea of making a buck off of somebody by providing a good service. Now, not all for-profit, uh, not all schools that are in this for-profit category are bad, such as your typical trade schools, uh, even some online schools, and many of these are a lot more innovative than your typical state schools. And not all of them are incredibly expensive. Some of them are actually quite cheap. There are the, some that don't participate in the federal student loan program, such as the Stafford loans and Pell grants and state grants. And I have noticed that those that do not participate in such programs tend to be the least expensive of the higher education institutions. Food for thought in general. So there's a possible correlation between the participation in federal student aid programs and the skyrocketing cost of college. Now, <clears throat> give me a sec. Now, um, Now, before I lost my train of thought, the important factor to consider when trying to pick some school to train in, college, university, or trade school, is, oh my God, you know, th th they would never tell you this. Don't uh, follow what the media says. What you do is you pick schools and then you call up employers in your local area especially those that you would like to work in and ask them if they would hire graduates of said schools of XYZ schools or schools of a certain accreditation agency whether it be regional accreditation or national accreditation because after all the employers are the ones that are going to be hiring you giving you that job so before you even sign up for any school, call the employers. I don't know, maybe a good 50 to 100 employers. So you can get a good idea of 
what type of schools employers and other factors of what employers are really asking for and then you take that information and you use it to pick the school you attend you use that information combined with your learning style and you pick the school that would actually help teach you the best and get you the job so I hope uh, this little tidbit of wisdom is a big help for you and have a happy new year Griffin out oh I forgot to mention you know remember it's 98 percent who you know two percent what you know give or take a few percentage points a lot of jobs these days are required through social networking such as LinkedIn and other forms of making friends whether it be at churches clubs or whatever so <clears throat> get to know people go to your local chamber of commerce and another thing I've noticed on all these news programs bashing for-profit colleges what graduates do you hear about mostly graduates of criminal justice psychology and art programs programs that even if you went to a state school you'd have trouble finding a job I'd like them to actually do the homework and look at graduates of skilled trades and information technology trades from both for-profit and non-profit colleges to get a real good objective I'll bet you that even at for-profit colleges the unemployment rate of those graduating from skilled trades and information technology programs is a lot lower and that they have a better return on investment with those majors Griffin out